Well, it kind of feels like to me Greg Wiseman gave us a little bit of a good update. At least some hopeful news. Let's dive into another edition of the Young Justice Season 5 newsletter and recent posts from the legendary Greg Wiseman that seem to, well, at least up the ante. He hasn't had a lot to say about Young Justice, and this was pretty big. Now, as many of you know, we cover a lot of Young Justice news on this channel. We're eagerly awaiting a Season 5, and as of right now, a Season 5 has not been ordered. Now, the show was never officially cancelled, and like many times before, it has seemingly met an unceremonious end, but like at the end of Season 2 and the end of Season 3, while well, the end of Season 4 is likely to lead into more episodes of the show. Now, we know the show is popular, and we also know, based on the ratings and views, that for the cost, it's one of the best shows, at least for return on investment, that HBO Max and the Max streaming platform has ever seen. Now, what's interesting is about a year and a half ago, we got a report that kind of dove into some of the statistics of how popular Young Justice was. Now, the team over at Parrot Analysis dives into fan demand. And in March of 2023, Young Justice had a 15.3x return, meaning the show was 15.3 times more in demand than the average show on TV. So, what's happened over the last year? Well, we found out that number hasn't dropped that much, and in the past 30 days, although it has come down slightly, it still falls into the outstanding range at 12.7, meaning the show is as popular as it ever was. Now, what's interesting is over on Twitter, yeah, I'm still not calling it X, one Young Justice fan and a fan of this channel actually tagged Greg Wiseman and James Gunn in a report about this outstanding rating, and what's interesting is Greg Wiseman actually retweeted it. Thanks, Ryan. We really appreciate the heads up. Now, Greg hasn't had a lot to say about Young Justice outside of the character countdown, and it's been mostly focused on Gargoyles. But this phase of Gargoyles is seeming to wrap up, and the fact that he reposted this, well, I found it at least interesting. As many of you know, when James Gunn took over the DC Universe, well, Young Justice kind of got put on the shelf, and we're still waiting to see what happens when the smoke clears. Some animated series, like Harley Quinn, Batman, Cape Crusader, and Kite Man, have indeed moved forward, and they're not part of the extended DCU. And I think we're waiting on Gunn to make the call. Now, I think one of the reasons Wiseman hasn't been too active on this front, and in many of these posts that tag them both, is, well, effectively, Gunn is the big cheese at DC. You want to bring something great to the boss, but you don't want to be annoying, and you want to choose your battles carefully. And something James Gunn seems to listen to is fan demand, and this 12.7 rating is off the chart, and much higher than almost any other show. So hopefully this is another one of those hints between the creatives, letting them know, hey, we're very interested, and maybe we're even getting lucky, and this is the first in a whole new series of posts from Greg, which might be leading us to a renewal announcement. Another reason we might not have gotten any announcements for Young Justice could be the financial state of Warner Brothers. Have you seen their stock lately, or even their stock over the last year? Recent financials have been pretty devastating, and Zaslav seems to have driven the overall company somewhat into a ditch. Many of us are pretty excited about Superman and James Gunn's plan, but let's be clear, Warner Brothers' discovery is in some serious financial distress, and that could be why, despite what we want, this hasn't moved forward as of yet. The show was pretty cheap to produce, we've read $12 million for the last season, and even heard that some of the actors and developers are willing to kick in some of the production costs, so whenever you're hearing one of these stories, make sure you keep the money situation well in the front of your mind, because I think it's always important. Now, we've gone to Comic-Cons without a Young Justice news and a couple of animation festivals, so yeah, I'm one of those people that I'm starting to get worried. But the time between Season 2 and Season 3 was much longer than this. The show never had as wide mainstream acceptance as it does now. It still trends on the Mac streaming platform all the time. And as for social media, the show lives on in a way that very few shows have ever been able to. The fan demand is high. We even have analysis to support it. And I'm hoping as more of this news finds its way up the food chain at DC Studios, we could finally get this new season of Young Justice. But we're going to have to wait and see.